Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a Legender's equation. So let's get going. Problem, solve 1 plus x whole square into d square y by dx square plus 1 plus x into dy by dx plus y equal to 2 sine log of 1 plus x. So we are given a differential equation of ax plus b power n d power n y by dx power n plus p1 into ax plus b power n minus 1 into d power n minus 1 y by dx power n minus 1 plus so on plus p n y equal to q form right which is a Legendre's equation so we are given a differential equation of this form which is a Legendre's equation so here we are going to solve this problem by reducing the given Legendre's equation to a linear differential equation with constant equations by making some substitution let's begin given differential equation 1 plus x whole square into d square y by dx square plus 1 plus x into dy by dx plus y equal to 2 sine log of 1 plus x. Consider the given differential equation as equation number 1. Now, let's write d square y by dx square as capital d square y. So, here we are going to use or apply differential operator d. Okay dy plus y equal to 2 sine log of 1 plus x. See, we have written the given differential equation in terms of differential operator d here. Right? Now, we'll take y common from all the terms of LHS. Then we'll get 1 plus x whole square into d square plus 1 plus x into d plus 1 into y equal to 2 sine log of 1 plus x. Consider it as equation number 2. Right? Now, we'll make the substitution. From Legendre's equation method, we know that ax plus b can be replaced by e power z, then z will be equal to log of ax plus b. And here, theta is nothing but d by dz. And differential operator whose independent variable is z. Okay. And here ax plus b into d can be replaced by quotient of x a into theta since we have power 1. So you'll get theta here. And ax plus b whole square into d square can be replaced by since you're having square. So you'll get quotient of x a square into you having square so you'll get two terms here theta into theta minus one if you have theta cube then you can replace by a cube into theta into theta minus one into theta minus two three terms theta into theta minus one into theta minus two three terms if you have square you'll get two terms theta into theta minus one if you have power one you'll get only theta right now coming to our problem let 1 plus x equal to e power z. Then z equal to log of 1 plus x. Here also theta is nothing but d by dz. A differential operator whose independent variable is z. Okay. And 1 plus x into d can be replaced by quotient of x. 1 into theta which gives us theta. And 1 plus x whole square into d square can be replaced by quotient of x is 1. 1 square is 1 into, since we are having square, so we will get 2 times theta into theta minus 1. 1 into theta into theta minus 1 is theta into theta minus 1, right? Fine. Now, we will replace 1 plus x whole square into d square by theta into theta minus 1. And 1 plus x d can be replaced by theta. And here log of 1 plus x is replaced by z. Then equation 2 reduces to to becomes 1 plus x whole square into d square is replaced by theta of theta minus 1 plus 1 plus x into t d is replaced by theta plus 1 into y equal to 2 sine 
log of 1 plus x is replaced by z. Okay. Now the reduced equation becomes theta into theta theta square minus theta into 1 theta plus theta plus 1 into y equal to 2 sine z. So here minus theta plus theta gets cancelled and this reduces to theta square plus 1 into y equal to 2 sine z. Consider as equation number 3 which is an operator form say f of theta into y equal to some function of z. I'll write it as f of theta into y equal to function of z or the RHS part, right? Where f of theta is theta square plus 1 and r is 2 sine z, right? So we have reduced the given Legendre's equation to a linear differential equation with constant coefficients, right? We have constant equations here. Fine. Now, we'll find solution to this equation 3 using y equal to yc plus yp, where yc is a complementary function, yp is nothing but particular integral. We'll find yc using auxiliary equation and we'll find yp using 1 by f of theta into r, the RHS part of the reduced equation, which is linear okay with constant equations and after finding the general solution of 3 we'll find the general solution of the given equation the general solution of 3 will be in terms of z and the general solution of 1 will be in terms of x okay so let's see now coming to the auxiliary equation The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0, where f of m equal to, see we have f of theta, theta square plus 1, right? Let's replace theta by m so that we'll get f of m equal to m square plus 1. Now the auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 1 equal to 0. Now we need to find roots to this equation. So let's take this one to RHS, we'll take We'll get m equal to m square equal to minus 1, then m equal to plus or minus square root of minus 1 since square root of minus 1 is i, so you'll get plus or minus i. Therefore, m equal to plus or minus i, the roots are complex conjugate, right? We know that when two roots are complex conjugates, say m equal to plus a plus or minus i b, then y c looks like e power a z into one constant cos b z plus another constant sin b z, right? In case of a 0, you'll get e power 0 into z, which gives us e power 0 into c1 cos b z plus c2 sin b z, right? Since we know that e power 0 is 1, so you'll get 1 into c1 cos bz plus c2 sin bz which gives us c1 cos bz plus c2 sin bz. Right? When m equal to plus or minus ib, yc will be c1 cos bz plus c2 sin bz. So now coming to our complementary function. yc equals to c1, just compare plus or minus i with plus or minus ib, then for b equal to 1, you'll have c1 cos 1z plus c2 sin 1z for b equal to 1, right? This equals to c1 cos z plus c2 sin z. Therefore, yc equal to c1 cos z plus c2 sin z. We got yc, let's now find yp. yp is given by 1 by f of theta into the RHS part of the reduced equation, that is equation 3. This gives us 1 by f of theta, theta square plus 1 and r is 2 sin z, right? So we can write this as 2 into 1 by theta square plus 1 into sin z. So here, 
1 by f of theta, 1 by theta square plus 1 into sin z is of the type 1 by f of theta into sin bz type. Right? So here we are having f of theta equal to theta square plus 1. Now we can replace theta by minus b square or minus of b square. Okay? This is not minus b whole square. Okay? It's minus b square. Okay? Z equals to minus. Just compare sin z with sin b z. We have b equal to 1. For b equal to 1, we'll have minus 1 square, which is minus 1. Right? When you substitute theta square, when you substitute theta square equal to 1, you'll get f of theta becomes minus 1 plus 1, right? Which is equal to 0. If you replace theta square by minus b square, then the denominator becomes 0. Since we know that 1 by 0 is undefined, so the total expression becomes undefined, right? Since theta square equal to minus b square equal to minus 1, which becomes undefined. So what you'll do is, you'll just write 1z here into 1 by find derivative of this, that is f dash of theta. We have f of theta equal to theta square plus 1, then f dash of theta will be theta square, derivative of theta square is 2 theta, right? So you'll get 2 theta here into sin z. So here 2 gets cancelled and you'll get z into 1 by theta into sin z. Since we know that 1 by theta is an integral operator, so we need to find integral sin z with respect to z. You'll get z integral sin z dz, which gives us z into integral sin z dz is minus cos z, which gives us minus z cos z. Right? Therefore, yp equal to minus z cos z. We got yp and yc. Let's now find general solution to equation 3. Therefore, the general solution to equation 3 is given by y equal to yc plus yp. Then y equal to yc, c1 cos z plus c2 sin z and yp is minus z cos z. Therefore, y equal to c1 cos z plus c2 sin z minus z cos z which is in terms of z is the general solution to the reduced equation, equation number 3. Okay. Now, using this equation, we'll find the general solution to the given equation by replacing z by log of 1 plus x. Okay. Now, we have y equal to c1 cos z plus c2 sin z minus z cos z, right? Since z equal to log of 1 plus x, then the above equation becomes y equal to c1 cos z is log of 1 plus x plus c2 sin log of 1 plus x minus z log of 1 plus x into cos z cos log of 1 plus x which is a general solution to the given differential equation. Therefore y equal to c1 cos log of 1 plus x plus c2 sine log of 1 plus x 
minus log of 1 plus x into cos log of 1 plus x is the general solution or the required solution to the given equation. Which is in terms of x, right? So this completes the problem. Well, we have seen a problem from Legendas equation in this video. I hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.